It is strongly suspected that the Israeli interceptor system, which was intercepting a ballistic missile coming from Lebanon, hit a residential building in Tira, near Tel Aviv. The surveillance camera of a car of a city resident who was traveling documented the moment the missile landed in the area near Tira, northeast of Tel Aviv on November 2, 2024, when it was a strong enough impact so that the driver rushed to stop his car while checking what was unusual as before. It is unclear whether it was from Hezbollah or a failed interception when the explosion was recorded that night where the Hezbollah ballistic missile was intended to be fired towards the center of Tel Aviv. Furthermore, new videos have appeared on the internet, showing the work of the Israeli air defense system that night, intercepting at least 10 missiles fired from Lebanon towards Tel Aviv. Except the Hezbollah missile actually hit its target in Tel Aviv, but it is clear that an interceptor missile mistakenly hit the building in Tira. It is unclear whether it was an Iron Dome interceptor missile or a David Sling defense system, or something else. Based on this information, thus confirming that it was not a Hezbollah missile, it was most likely an interceptor projectile, which failed to do its job. Tira is an Arab city in the central district of the region, part of the so-called Triangle, a cluster of Palestinian towns and villages adjacent to the Green Line, which separates it from the occupied West Bank. Now, the interceptor has carried out a large-scale bombing, which was previously thought to be from Lebanon. Footage shows massive, unprecedented damage after the missile fell. At least 11 residents were injured in Tira of which, according to the Israeli police, two were moderately injured, five were lightly injured. However, so far the death toll has not been announced.